At best, Democrats viewed this as a necessary compromise and at worst as a sellout. The motion is adopted. House members passed the bill moments before midnight. Today, Republican leaders declared victory. Congress has acted to uh, stop all of the tax hikes uh, that were scheduled to go into effect January the 1st. GOP support was critical. The chairman, I rise in opposition to the bill. With nearly half of all House Democrats voting against the deal their own president had brokered. $1.7 trillion. Even Speaker Pelosi railed against it. We just don't see why we have to give an extra tax cut to the wealthiest and then an extra, extra uh, estate tax benefit to the top uh, one quarter percent. Liberals tried to strike those inheritance tax cuts from the bill last night with no success. I don't believe this is any more efficient uh, on many of the provisions than if we stood at the front of the Capitol and just shoveled money out into the snow. The tax deal's swift passage does give Democrats time to try to pass some of their other priorities before Republicans take control of the House in January. The Senate will vote tomorrow on repealing the military's don't ask, don't tell policy. I'm confident, let's say for now that I'm confident that we've got more than 60 votes. One thing that won't pass is that funding bill that was laden with billions in earmarks from both parties. Republicans who recently swore off earmark withdrew their support for the bill after being accused in some quarters of hypocrisy. Katie. Nancy Cordes on Capitol Hill. Thanks, Nancy.